What's up, you guys? It's your girl Tamara G.I. and we are back with another video. So today I wanted to talk in this video to kind of walk us through. I'm not gonna talk a lot, but I'm talking a little bit because we do a new color that like I never did blue before. So this is the hair that we're working with. This is what the inside of it looks like, and then this is what they look like the knots so they were blue before and they're kind of white because i left the bleach on there for like an hour i would say leave it on there for 30 to 45 minutes not an hour but i feel like me leaving the bleach on there was helping me with the plucking because the plucking the hair came out straight from the root and it didn't just break off and it was really good so let's just get into it this is all that came inside the bag it was nothing extra so but the hair is very soft i like the softness of the hair so let's just go ahead and get started into this install i already have my fog cap <laughs> okay. we're gonna cut off this back piece because nobody ever uses it i don't even know i still to this day don't be knowing what this back piece is for and nobody comment down below and say the back piece is for a ponytail because it's not even no lace on the back it's just a piece of lace that's it I feel like this is gonna be so cute. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it. It's giving me super scent. Like Black China was. <laughs> All right, you guys, so before I even get started into explaining anything, let me just apologize in advance for the gum chewing. I was tearing this gum up, and the gum was good, and I even had this gum two days in a row. Not the same gum, but you know, I ate another piece of I don't know what it was with me and gum. Like, I was feeling gum lately. But we're just going here with this Bold Hold Active Glue. Y'all know I've been using the Kiss Glue, and I did use Ghost Bond in my last video, but this was just a glue that I still have, and instead of having products just sitting, I just want to use the stuff that I have. And this glue, I can say that it worked really well. I did do a total of three layers for each section. Of course, I didn't show all three sections. I didn't show all three layers because it just gets very repetitive, but I just smoothed it over with a popsicle stick and kind of used my finger in between and just did the three layers, blow dried each layer, and then laid everything down with my comb. Okay guys, so one thing that I did in this install, particularly that I think that I am going to keep doing in my installs is nine times out of 10, sometimes when I'm cutting the lace, because it has hair on there, I think it's supposed to be on there. And I will go back and glue the area down. But sometimes you do not have to have that piece of hair. So with this install and particularly, I'm going to be showing you guys what I mean. So. It's a piece of lace, like that piece of lace that was sticking right there. I don't have to add no glue to those lace, those parts that's sticking up. I'm literally just going to cut that off. And as you guys can see me sectioning out that part, that part, nine times out of 10, I would have probably just added glue to it. But I just decided to cut it off and I feel like they gave me a more realistic type hairline and it helped me a lot with my install and getting it totally melted and helped with my baby hairs as well.
and you guys you can also see it was still a part that i feel like i could cut off and you can keep this on there if you would like but i feel like in order for me to get a more natural looking type hairline and for my baby hairs to be really 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 cute cut off all that lace that you do not need this had a little bit of glue on it but i still pulled it up a little bit and cut it off now this part right here i did need to add some glue to which is why i just took a little rat tail comb and i added a little bit of glue on there so we can lay that lace down So now what we're doing is sectioning off our hair for our baby hairs and one other thing that I did in this install that I really really liked is that I plucked the hair as I was separating my baby hairs because I still felt like it was some parts that I wanted to pluck and I knew I wasn't going to be doing like a side part or something. I knew I was going to be doing a hairstyle that I wanted the scalp to be really really scalp like and look really really natural and not look like bulky in the front. So as I was separating my baby hairs that I was going to use, I was going in with my tweezers and just plucking everything through. And then also, I really liked this unit in particular because I was ble I bleached the knots, like I said, for an hour. But you can really bleach it for like 30 to 45 minutes, but the hair was coming out straight out of the scalp. A lot of problems that I have with units that I just realized is most of the hair, when I'm plucking, it doesn't come straight out of the scalp. And that's why I wasn't getting the look that I wanted, which can kind of be my fault with me not bleaching the hair all the way. So I would say when you're bleaching your units and you see the, the knots having all the way bleached, just keep the bleach on there and that will help you with having the hair coming out all the way through the scalp. So I did use my straight request spray like I do with all my videos and just laid it down one more time. We're gonna go ahead and do these baby hairs. I just curled it with my small straightener and then I did my baby hairs with the black bottle of Got To Be Glue Gel and that will be linked down below as well. And then I just blow dry between and me doing my baby hairs. It's just the same. I didn't do anything different than what I would normally do with my baby hairs. Now this fan that I'm using is just a fan that I use for my eyelashes, but I was like, if I'm using cool air to dry these quicker, I could probably just use my little fan instead of plugging back up my blow dryer. So that's the only reason why I did that. I think I'm gonna keep doing that because it's really small and it was really convenient with me doing it. <laughs> and this is a tip too, if you're out and you have to do your hair in a car or something, just bring a little, little fan, you'll be good. Okay guys, so this was the next day and I have another piece of gum in my mouth. <laughs> like I said, I don't know why I was feeling the gum. But I decided that I wanted to do a braid. 
and y'all i redid this brace so many times the first time i did it all the way through and i just felt like it looked a mess and then i did it like four more times but i didn't show you guys all the four times i just showed you guys the first time i did it and then the last time that i got it right and i didn't break that on camera because i don't know what it was with me braiding on camera everything was just messing up every time i turned on the camera but when i turned it off then the braid wouldn't come out right i don't understand why i did that but all i did was just section out my sections and just hot comb everything so everything could be pretty nice and neat and i really really like the way i bleached this unit because it just looks like scalp like everything looks scalp like and I'm really proud of myself for this one because this one just really came out really, really good. So, um, you guys are going to see me just hot combing those parts just to make them all smooth. I'm taking my lock-in edge gel. Don't use a lot of this gel because it will turn white. Only use a little bit. And I feel like this one was kind of making it hard for me to braid because the hair was just so slick and I was trying to get the sections and as you guys can see my little struggle braid that I'm about to do <laughs> it didn't look too bad but it gave me a vision of how the hairstyle was gonna look but when I got it right everything came out so cute So as you guys can see, my cute braid, that finally came out really cute. Um, so now I just went ahead and just straightened my hair and then you guys are gonna see the final look. okay what's up you guys so this is the final review for this hair i absolutely positively really 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 love this hair i love the style i love everything i did i really like this wig in general because it's colored and i got this little thing on y'all i was taking pictures y'all so i, I didn't want to change i just wanted to just show y'all the whole the whole look but to it it's still really cute it's been a couple days i've been wearing this hair out it's just been so good so that's all yeah 10 out of 10 12 out of 12 like this hair is so cute oh all the information for this hair will be down below so make sure you guys click the description box and click the link so you guys can get this look with the Eula hair. Make sure you guys also follow me on TikTok because I do have TikTok videos of me doing all of these units and stuff on TikTok as well. So I'm just getting a little due to TikTok, so y'all bear with me. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed, and GI Babies, we out.